and guess that we are probably going to PS2. Wow. Crazy. Starting off on PS2, <laughs> Sled instantly runs away. Pika Pika instantly sends out two T-Jolts. I hope you are all not expecting <laughs> an explosive set. Because this is going to be whoever wins a slog, a grind. It is going to be hard fought and there are going to be a lot of B buttons pressed. Right now Pika Pika off to an early lead although Sled is not going to land that combo because Pika Pikachu is so light. Although that light Pikachu may... I know I didn't just see T-Joel trade with a super missile. That move better start filing my taxes. Well, that is big knowledge moving forward in this set is that T-Jolt can and will beat a super missile on the move. Ooh, Sled has gone far... Far lower than I thought he could. I hope he didn't use his jump there. He still manages to kick his way back on the stage. Not dead yet. Catches that T-Jolt. Like I said, he will let that charge shot rip. Pika Pika ready for the recovery, but he's still gonna eat 11 from that... From the orb. Now that I think about it, Sled's got a lot of orbs. He's got his down B, he's got his side B, there's his neutral B, he's got his nair, he's got his head. This is an, this is an orby character. But this is just how we saw stock one going. Pika Pika is getting these early percent combos. Ooh, I don't know what Sled thought he was hitting, but he did not hit it. Got to jump out of that, otherwise you're going to eat that up air. Sled falls out of the forward air. Man just to turn things around on Pika Pika, but Quick Attack going to do what Quick Attack do. Charge shot number two. It's two for three. Sled does not know that if you just DI that behind, you will always live. But it is also a DI mix-up, but he doesn't die this time. Sled right now is getting a lot more percentage than he did last time on this stock. He's already got 47 on Pika Pika with a charge shot, with rage. This this rat is <laughs> not going to get hit by that charge shot. Two for four is still not bad, though. Sled might turn... I was about to say, <laughs> you better not get that turned around on you with a B. Sled right now is setting up a really... He is edge guarding Pikachu completely different from how I've seen him edge guard normal characters. Which is really interesting that he's got such counterplay. Well, the Pika Pika did a really good job to close out that stock. Oh, you best start SDIing out. I see zero arm movement coming out from Sled, so I don't think he SDI'd that one bit. Still eats 30. Three for five. Batting point six on the day. We call that we call that a, a good day. Game 1 going to Sled, it is going to be interesting where Pika Pika wants to go because the Pika Pika classic counter pick is Kalos. However, this might be one of the few characters where he doesn't want to go to Kalos. They run it straight back to PS2. Pika Pika thinking if he can just get around these charge shots, that was pretty much all that separated him from the win. I think that's going to be something of a theme for the set. Something of a theme when you're fighting Sled is... Can you beat the charge shot? Or can you can you avoid the charge shot? Because you're not really going to beat that thing. Pika Pika definitely playing this game much closer to Sled this time. I wonder 
how sleds up B and because down air is are going to interact because those are both moves that are just gigantic and poke above and below sled or <laughs> above and below the ledge <laughs> respectively but it does not matter nair up smash gonna be closing out for pika pika real quick double parry into whiff that's my favorite combo i hit that shit all the time that ball is just gonna be a little too far away no orb protection there Pika takes whatever he can from the jabs. Is that up be not gonna be enough. I'm may sound like an, a, a bit of a, of a of a wrong person here, but I'm surprised that up didn't kill at 80. Send out the small missiles. Where are you jumping? I haven't been keeping track, so I'm just gonna say it's one for two for the for the uh, posterity, but. That's right, you cannot land on that shield. You will get a bead. And you will eat that 20%. Pika Pika there goes for the down air. That's kind of what you want to do is you, if you are trying to edge guard Sands, you do want to, you know, go off stage because he is going to win the ledge interaction. That up B is looking a little ill-advised. Two for three. Another charge shot sled at 92. This is almost... Despite Pika Pika's uh, early first stock kill, this is almost looking like an exact mirror of game one. He's just swinging with these bears. That is absolutely going to take it. 24% on Pika Pika. Let's see what he can do to make sure that he does not go down 2-0. He has been playing this much, much closer to Sled. He's staying, he's not doing a lot of, you know, dash out, dash ins that, like, kind of make your opponent go like, oh, where, where am I going? Because when he would dash out, Sled would just take that time to also dash out and start charging something. Sled right now just... Getting back and forth, making sure he's not getting hit by anything. He knows that he can close this out eventually versus Pika Pika. He's got no reason to push his to push any advantage he doesn't really have. No, the orb is what closes it out. Sends him off the top. 2-0 to sled. This is Pika Pika is just getting so close every game. I think he is grabbing some water. Some water. Hitting him with the, the Wizzy Classic. Oh, sorry, I left my water bottle across venue. I guess I gotta uh, walk and get that. Oh. But that, that's, what he, that's what he needs right now. He needs to just have the mental reset, just get some time to think about what went right, what went wrong, and you just got to use that, and then you're going to hop right back in. Because no time that you take to think, your opponent can't take that time to think. So it's, I feel it's a totally even play. <laughs> I've never seen someone fall through fair like that. That must be what the what the interns at the Smash office are doing. Ooh, that is gonna send them down at zero, zero to death. That is how you answer back from going down 2-0. Now, now it's up to see how Sled can climb a hill because you know that zoners aren't the type to, you know. Uh, mount crazy comebacks. They are slow burns, and Pika Pika has yet to get touched and slit. <sighs> I should never 
comment on that. I feel I've got like an extra commentator curse. But still, Sled is just hunting for every little hit he can get. While Pika Pika is just putting on some hard pressure. You cannot miss that tech. <laughs> I'm amazed that didn't clank with neutral B, but can you can you really complain when it's Pikachu? It's it's kind of just the status quo at this point. Does not hit the punish on the up smash. Sled gets back, gets some more damage. He's looking to close out this stock before Pika Pika can close out his second. Because the way I always look at that is if I can get your stock after you kill me at zero, if I just don't do what killed me at zero, I'm winning. As such, I'm playing better. And that's got to be the mentality Sled has right now, and he's got to keep playing better. <laughs> right there, I'd love to see him go for maybe a quick kill with that up B uh, covering ledge. But instead, P Pika gets the up smash, and this bear is going to do 30 because... Oh, Sled tries to air dodge out again. That was a huge bait. <laughs> Pika Pika stopped. He knew it was going. You, you heard me. I thought it was going. <laughs> he had me fooled. He had Sled fooled. And that is how he's going to snatch game three in record time. I did not see how fast that game was. But that's got to be like the world's fastest me gunner set. Or me, me gunner game. But now you've got to win two games on Sled's counter pick. Ooh. What's the pick? What's the pick? What's the pick? Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, we, we've got Gusty Garden Galaxy as the pick. I'm pretty sure, like, Super Mario Galaxy to sled is probably, like, an Atari 2600 game to Pika Pika. So, I, I, I feel that. And already, got the, got the music power up, got the, also, a small battlefield is just the best owner stage. I stand by that forever and always. This is not this is not a stage made for approaching. Do not take your zoners here. If they lose, they are fraudulent. Right now, keep them pretty even, which is definitely better than what we saw happen to Sled Game 3. So we've got some adaptation coming out. Do not DI that. Just DI it behind. Just DI it behind. It's not true. Pika Pika hits the orb, not the man. Oh, thought, he, thought he'd catch Pika Pika jumping out, but 0 for 1 so far. Tried to get what finished off Jay, but Pika Pika just kind of got out of there too fast. Got hit too early. Lots of jabs coming out. Pika Pika is absolutely hunting for the kill. Tried to get that dash attack. Sled just resetting the situation. I I cannot commentate it. He's just <laughs> ledge trapping. It's just how can Pika Pika get off the ledge? <laughs> and how is Sled going to punish every option coming off the ledge? That was a really good just way to close out that stock. Sled just, just dealt like 50 unanswered damage right there. Just keeping Pika Pika on the ledge. It doesn't matter if you go to the other side of the stage. I'm still there. What's good? Now he's got that charge shot on deck. Pika Pika is just trying to get as much damage as possible. I mean, with with this damage, I don't know if Nair up smash is even going to connect now. <laughs> I feel... Ooh, sends the orb back at him with his own orb. Oh, he didn't want to let that go. You do not land on that shield. This, this is what I was imagining when I said this set is going to be a slog. Like, there is absolutely, you know, a game being played here, but it is just one of 
some real, like, just minutia and just small, small adaptations of where am I going to put my projectile. Yeah, Pikachu shifts its hurt box a whole lot on that F-Tilt, so you cannot... Ooh, 0 for 2. It is also very interesting to watch, you know, what games Sled and what, what games Sled wins and what games Sled loses. And see his his batting average on his on his shard shots. Oh, that could have been a big punish with a drop down bear. That was really smart. I've I've been thinking that the whole time is, you know, try to catch the try try to catch the quick attack with up smash, but it's just too too stubby. Down orb gonna take it. Sled's only got one last stock to take. You cannot keep escaping invincibility the exact same way. People will catch on. Pika Pika tries to close that stock out how he did stock one. DI behind, DI behind. Sled just hanging on to the stock, trying to get any percentage he can. <laughs> oh, he's flirting with danger as he does it. If I'm Sled, I'm just letting this charge shot rip. I want to get this 23 damage. You know, don't don't want to go down with the cards in your hand. But this up throw is just going to take it. Still gets 21%. That's about one-fifth of the way there. Pika Pika just sends a T-Jolt to its death. <laughs> that, that orb took the full nair and still blew up on him. Big damage coming out from Sled. I... Just, it, I laughed at one thing once, 0 for 3, and already 83 on Pika Pika, 91. The stock is looking mighty low. Pika Pika's got to make a big combo happen, and no lightning loops, not with that DI onto the platform. I can't tell if that was just how far down throw sent him or if that was Sled DIing up, but either way, unfortunate for Pika Pika and big, big, big for Sled. He wanted to grab there. You saw his shield, you saw his shield move forward and then back to back throw. And he just didn't get the grab out in time. That is really unfortunate. Big back air. Pika Pika's looking. Wow, did you get through that? That might be what Pika Pika needs. Wow, punishes F smash. That's not easy. This is, the up tilt is going to take him out. Sled moving on to loser's semis. Definitely making a bit of a run here. Not, not a bit of a run. <laughs> this is a run.